g'day there. Welcome to Quick Tip number 32. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, both book and use the classroom laptop trolleys which are common on at the Hawthorne campus on TD Level 2. So here's how they appear. On the top face they have um, a plaque which indicates their trolley letter, trolleys A through to D. You need to note that because in order to use the trolleys you must first book them. You do so by sending an email to SOB Hawthorne. In the subject line, indicate the tr particular trolley, A through to D, that you're intending to book. And then in the message itself, dates and times of that booking, etc. OK, so on the day of use, you can collect the key from the main Hawthorne reception. Um, you can then uh, unlock the, the lock on the trolley. To do so, there's a pin that you need to pull out that you can see at the top of the lock there, um, and then the bar will slide free. As your students collect laptops from the trolley, ensure that they uh, pin their student ID number above the um, slot where they've taken the laptop from. That way we can keep track of which students have which laptop. OK, so the students uh, launch the laptop as you would normally do. Um, when they open the laptop up and start it, they'll have access to all of the software that's on the laptop, and all the standard Microsoft Office suite, etc. But they don't yet have internet connectivity. And so the first thing that you'll often want them to do is to connect to the internet. They do so by pressing on the little wireless symbol featured in the bottom right of the screen there. Um, and when they click on that, up pops a login window. Into this they put in their student ID number and their standard password. And that will connect them to the Swinburne's wireless internet. They'll get a screen that looks like this, which will confirm that they've got internet connectivity to a network called Swin Wi-Fi. And so now they're able to, for instance, browse the internet. They can launch their web browsers and log into Blackboard, etc., etc., what they don't yet have is access to the Swinburne Novell network drives, their personal drive, T drive, etc. And so if you need that as well, um, students can log into Novell by clicking on the little uh, red N symbol. In fact, they right click on that, that's down in the bottom right hand corner. That will bring up a window with the first option there reading Novell login. When they make that selection, they can enter their username and password again and after some time they'll be now logged in to the notes Swinburne Novell drives and be able to have access to all of the drives that they may be familiar with when they log into a uh, wired standard desktop environment so that's pretty much it they're now ready to go and continue with their class at the end of the session they'd power down their laptop and then return it to the trolley, of course collecting the card at the same time. Now it's really important at this stage that each of the laptops is plugged back in because of course we need to ensure that for the next use those laptops are fully charged. And that's pretty much it.